Hi guys, Mark Weir here. What I want to talk about is uh, the preparation I've got for some of these guys training for, uh, or basically on a fight camp, training up to a competition they got roughly in about uh, four and five weeks. What I want to basically give an idea for those who's generally going to the sport, uh, those coaching. Uh, in England, I'm one of the first ones competing in the sport of MMA in the er uh, mid and early 1990s. And um, it is a bit of a headache. I've got about seven guys uh, training and preparing for a fight. I can't really give anybody individual, indiv individual guidance. Uh, so what I try and do is uh, cover everybody on a whole. Uh, while they're sparring and they're uh, uh, fighting each other, I try and give them little pointers, little guidance. They've got a rough base. Uh, they've got to realise that everything starts standing. So you have a defensive game standing. Uh, watch out that the nerves, keep the hands up and feel their opponent out. A lot of times you find that unexperienced fighters were just running and uh, like a steam train, uh, fight or flight, their nerves are going. So uh, the main thing about it is uh, getting to feel the first few seconds out and the main thing is knowing what their strengths are. I tend to watch the person sparring and then see what they normally, what at their best they start off with. Are they more into the leg kicking? Are they more into they, the pouring out before they throw? And do you like to shoot? Um, the main thing is uh, to have that same form. Some like to circle, some, some like to stalk as they're going forward and uh, for me I have to remind them how they fight at their best. Once they've done that, it normally always, after a bit of exchange, is going to end up in a close clinch, uh, normally against the cage. So I have to work out the cage game, uh, where, where their strengths are. I normally like to, to see what the position. Are they more on the, the pole position, upper body, or they like to shoot it for the waist, take down, or they like to keep it close, go for an ankle pick, or beat the person up with knees uh, to the side to the body. If it's pro, it would be to the head, but these are the amateur guys. And um, all they did just work relentless for the takedown. While they're doing this, uh, the most common submission when they first start is uh, the guillotine. So I try and keep them to stay tight. When they first sort of like go into the sport, uh, what happens, they can be overwhelmed and they really don't find you lose. I would say that you lose a minimum of 25% of your game so that's the hardest thing beyond that you again when you get taken down to the floor and uh, what's their recovery like what's their gain of position like their ability to escape to something where they're more in advantage position either reverse uh, or again uh, basically pulling guard and attacking so part of the attack is their defense um, and then on top of that the main thing beyond all besides keeping the hands up and standing up is to make sure they can escape most nearly every position, whether it's from the, the, the mount, the, the side cross body position, or in the guard. You try to keep the, them to win. The rounds are short, they're only three minutes. So the main thing in those three minutes, they're gonna stay dominant, stay active. And um, uh, first and foremost, we work on the first few weeks is the fitness and cardio. And it's not like running, it's not like cycling, or lifting or anything like that is fighting cardio, which is all round. And uh, you've got the person pressuring you, pushing against your chest, so you can't breathe so well. Your muscles are working at the same time. So fighting cardio is totally different. They can come in fit, you know, be running, be training, but the, the fitness and sparring and fighting is totally different. And this is basic uh, foundations for this. Beyond this is uh, the finishing submission game and striking game on the ground. So I'm going to be covering this, I want to do this um, weekly update, just go over some of the things I'm going, I'm going through. Uh, at the moment I'm at the point of uh, analysing each person, I'm making a note of the seven guys competing and uh, each one has their strength, so when I'm watching them I can tell them. And also I'm active, I uh, obviously for myself, so it's nice I can get in there with them and sort of point them out what they're not doing. You know, I hope you get some benefits from this over the next few weeks, four to five weeks. Give me an idea of some of the things you like to hear, see, or understand about the fight game. So I hope you like, uh, you're gonna follow this uh, each week. This is Mark Weir. Remember, fantasy for sweat, work hard, sweat more, and stay young, guys.